Hey, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome in to uh, your abundance reading for April into May. We're doing the on the new moon of um, uh, the Aries new moon, which is all about determination, right? And it is the first uh, sign in the zodiac. So this is the beginning of the new year, essentially, for the zodiac. So uh, if there's ever a time to make some changes, to make some advances, now is it. So uh, uh, manifesting with the moon, do it now. Aries, Aries new moon, perfect time. Okay, so we're going to do a little abundance reading here. It's actually a big abundance reading because uh, we look at three categories. So the first card is um, relationship. Second card is career and finance, your work. Third card is your health, okay? We look at um, what to do, what not to do. The first two cards underneath that. Then we look at helpful influences, okay? And so we talk through all of that stuff. I do an extended read for this, blocks, advice, and outcome. So let's get going. We are, uh, time's a waste, and we are doing the air sign, sun, moon rising for um, April, manifesting with the new moon of Aries. So let's get rocking here. Okay, whoa, 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 the deck's crazy. Okay. So here we go. Underneath, seven of cups. A little bit of confusion. Let's see where that. Let's see where that takes us. There's you got a lot of choices. All right, that's that's good. So don't get confused. Don't get lost. Right, you got a lot of choices. So your relationship, seven of wands. Your work, queen of wands, and your health, sun. Yay! <laughs> all right, that's lovely. Uh, seven of wands is your relationships. Um, you may be very happy, happily single right now. You may be having some issues in a relationship in terms of getting on the same page. Okay? And you're sort of resisting a situation. In your work, Queen of Wands, that's nice entrepreneurial energy. So things can be moving forward nicely for you. Uh, and then uh, your health, awesome. Sun. Nothing better than the sun, ever. Um, all right, so let's get a couple of cards here to do. Okay, to do. Uh, for relationships for you, to do. Okay, do, 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 do. Uh, to do and not to do. Boy, this sounds like the fire one here. Um, to do, you've got to put in some effort. Page of Pentacles. You've got to, you have got to make some, you got to make an offer. you got to make a basic offer. you got to spend some time. Okay, spend some time. You're not spending any time. So if you are single, you're not spending any time looking around or being engaged in any kind of relationship prospecting. <laughs> Did I really just say that? Wow, that sounds so businessy. Um, because <laughs> you're buried in your work. All right, you're really focused on your work right now. The relation thing, relationship thing, because there maybe have been a lot of pushback or a lot of like, you're just like, oh, I'm just over this. Okay, right? So the ad advice, though, is to put in some time. Put in some effort. You do have a lot of choices. All right? If you have somebody, put in some effort. If you don't, look around. Go to, go out. Get out. Get out of the house. All right. In terms of your career, because you're definitely buried in your work over here, uh, Six of Cups, you are doing the work of your life. You are doing the work, your work that you are meant to be doing, um, air sign. You are squarely in alignment with the kind of work you're meant to do. Uh, and that work is all about telling the truth, being inspiring. Your queen of wands here, being the queen of wands is like Oprah to me. Uh, being inspiring. Don't be too sharp with criticism or be too pointed with here's what you got to do right like if you're what you're doing here like if you're working with clients you're going to need to as my old boss and most awesome mentor Clint Pierce used to say learn how to deliver bad news and make it feel like a foot rub and a warm cup of cocoa and boy, did he teach us how to do that. <laughs> and luckily, there wasn't too much bad news to deliver. But when you had to, you really taught that. So, you know, shout out to Clint Pierce. Um, Ace of Swords here. You really need to be um, truthful. 
in how you're working, how you're doing this, because you're building something that is your baby. If you have a job and you are thinking about doing a side hustle, do it. If you are have your own business <clears throat> and you're, you know, you're sort of like thinking expansion, whatever, do it. You're in alignment with what you're here to do. Okay? Let's look at your health. You're the sun, so like, whatever. I'm enjoying my health. I'm feeling really good. Um, Three of Pentacles. You're, there's a lot more to know here. Okay? Three of Pentacles, there's more to know about what's going on with your health. You're kind of just like not... You know, it's like you're not going to the doctor and like that's the that's the the um the mental construct of well, only sick people take pills, so if I don't take pills, I'm not a sick person. Doesn't mean that at all. <laughs> that's a faulty construct. That's faulty logic. Um you might need to go to the doc go to the doctor, just go for an annual physical or do whatever you need to do just to be sure and get really grounded in your health picture here. Lovers, nice. You're making good choices for yourself, okay? You're making good choices for yourself. I don't see you totally overwhelmed here. The only thing is this relationship thing might be causing you some agita. But, you know, you need to make, you need to make healthy choices. In fact, he's picking up an apple there, see? Continue to make healthy choices. That's like, tell, that's like you know, the financial guys who say, like, invest wisely for the long term. Like, does is, is that even say anything? Uh, that's not even a, that's not even a, that's, that's called like common knowledge. That's not advice. Okay. So, um, helpful influencers. You have somebody over here in your relationship area. There's Aries who might be a little bit bossy. <laughs> and maybe that's why you're pushing back so hard. There's pressure. That's somebody who's a controlling person. Okay. Yeah. Oh boy. Wow. Uh, so you're matchy matchy on the controlling thing here. Yeah, there's some, boy, that's cold. That's cold. Really? One more, please. That is cold. Helpful influences is that you're not like, the helpful part of that is those two, Emperor and King of Swords, really know how to get shit done, Okay. They know how to do stuff. So if they're working with you, if they are like a partner in love, in a love relationship and they're helping you, they're going to, they know how to get shit done. Okay. But if just purely in terms of love, I mean, you're an air sign. So here you are, right? King of swords. You're fine with it being kind of cold or kind of cerebral, but not the bossiness stuff, right? Let's get a, let's get a clarifier on that. I don't want to be bossed around. I don't care. Right, yeah. Don't worry about it. It's moving forward. Okay? Um, it is destined. It is destined that you fix, the, figure this out. That's very cerebral here. And be in control of your own relationship. Something about, like, you just, like, let go of the reins or something. You need to get back in charge. Because the other person has kind of taken advantage a little bit here. All right, let's see about your work here. Queen of Wands. Ooh, ah, you're really it on a stick, aren't you? Queen of Pentacles, oh my God! So not only is it a great, helpful influences, not only is it a great idea, whatever you're doing here, if you're an entrepreneur and you have an idea, you should do it. Because not only is it a good idea, it's also a good business model. It's also founded in really good business. Helpful influences. Seven of Swords, helpful. It is always helpful to tell the truth. Tell the truth, okay? If you're not telling the truth, you need to. If somebody, if, 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 um, hmm. You need to speak your truth and if you're feeling that this is a, um, a political situation that could get you in trouble for speaking your truth, because you're already like, uh, I'm sort of like pushing back on people over here. It's like, oh man, do I have to do that in my work too? 
I feel like I need to speak my truth here. Yeah, because someone is taking advantage of you. Absolutely. Someone is taking advantage of you in your work here, air sign. You need to get back in control of everything. <clears throat> You're super healthy, though. <laughs> That's good, right? King of Wands. All right. So you are very, you're a specimen, super sexy, super beautiful. Your body is your temple. You're doing a good job. You are doing a good job there. Yes, look at how much you love yourself. That's a little bit too much. That's a little bit, <laughs> that's a little bit too much. Maybe you're like too much thinking how awesome you are in terms of your physical, um, and somebody's taking advantage of you. In, in love and in your work and career. All right. We're going to get some cards around that when we come back. All right. So we're going to do an extended read on this. Um, we're going to look at blocks and advice and uh, outcome. All right. So click on the link below for air signs for April. Uh, manifesting with the new Aries moon. All right. I will see you on the other side. <laughs> 